I want to talk to you today about phase errors. Um, the title probably sounds more scary than it really is, but let me explain what happens. If you press a button and you've configured two turnouts to work from the same button as a crossover, you can see here that with the two green lights, the track is set for straight. If I press the button, they flash and then you can see the crossover is active. And this is normal behavior. Press it again and it goes back. But what would you do if you saw this? You have a crossover illuminated, the other two off. And when you press the button, this strange pattern occurs. Now these two are on, those two are off. This is a phase error and it's so simple to fix, I thought I'd walk you through it because it's not necessarily obvious. We don't want that, we do want this. So what I'm going to do on this video is recreate the problem, then show you how simple it is to fix. In the second half of the video, I'm going to extend it out to actual point motors and we'll have a little bit of fun with that as well. So what I'm going to do for this is I have a multi-panel 2.1. This is the same scenario though on all multi-panel versions. And I've got a mimic panel here. So if I split this down, I have a button already attached. I'm using plug and play components because it's so much easier to demonstrate. So what I'll do, I'll take one of the cables, let's lose that, connect it to a button, and I'll plug the other end into channel one. I'll take a pair of LEDs, here's an LED pair, with the black line to the center, uh, sorry, to the side, and I'll move that, which way up are we, on one of the top roads. So I'll make this number one at the top, and the complementary LED to the center, and I'll connect that to number one with the black lead to the outer edge. For the second set of points up here, which I'll configure to channel two, so this is channel one. In fact, before I do it, let's power it up and see it work. So you can see here, when I press the button, I toggle, press the button again and it toggles back. So that's a single set of points moving straight and through the crossover. So I'm going to take the single LED with the black lead to the outer edge and connect it to output number two for points number two, plug it into the indicator hole for number two. And as you can see now, Something funny is going on because we have the center active here and the top. Before we do anything, I'm going to take the second lead for the switch, connect it to the opposite end, ensuring that I have the black on the same side, and I'll connect the switch to number two as well. So as far as we're concerned, I've wired up lights and buttons for a crossover. And when I press the button, I can see I have this funny condition. Now if you think about what's happening, every time I press the button, the points will move from straight to turned. So I'm toggling the position. All that we have here when I say a phasing error is that this point and this point are out of phase with each other. So when one is straight, the other should be straight, but it's indeed turned. All you do, and this is so simple, is disconnect one of the button leads, press the button once, reconnect the lead. And that's it, sorted forever. Every time I press the button now, you can see it work one way and the correct way. So that's how you would correct a phasing error or having one turnout out of sync with the other. Of course, if you're switching more than two points with a single button, then you could have all sorts of interesting combinations. But if you think through, that's all there is to it. Okay, let's extend what we just saw out into the layout. What I have here is a solenoid driver with half a dozen solenoids attached. 
and you can see if I connect this button which is connected to channels 3 and 4 the solenoids move as a pair. What I'm going to do is drop this paper on just to make it easier for the camera to pick up and you to see. As you can see some of the round holes have already been elongated when I tested it so the solenoids are uh, destroying my pieces of paper. So here they are all lined up. So if I have a pair of turnouts like this and it configured in a crossover then when they're both straight uh, and in the same direction the turnouts are straight. When I press one button I want them both to move like that and if you look at three and four here as I press it they're moving as a pair in the same direction. This might be good on your layout you might have one reversed and it might be bad. So let's induce the issue. I will disconnect one cable, press the button once, one moves, reconnect the cable. Now if you see they're not lined up and every time I press the button the opposite happens. This one moves over, that moves over and now it'll switch back. So they're out of phase which may be intentional or you might be under the layout uh, wiring up cursing and wondering why it's doing that. And the solution is simple. Again, disconnect a wire, press the button once, reconnect. And it doesn't matter which wire you want plug. Now when I press it, the two move over. Now in this case, I've left the LEDs off so that we just try and clarify everything on the point motors here. Okay, let's ramp it up a gear. What I'm going to do now is bring all four in as though I'm using a scissors crossing. So I'll take these two cables off and I'm going to push them into um, a servo Y lead so that I can wire all four on a single button without having to resort to a soldering iron. There's one, there's two, in. And these two are joined together and I can put that on one side of the button. I'll put the other two on the other side of the button making sure I match black and red on the same side. Let's plug in number five and plug in number six. Now I've no idea what's going to happen here till I press the button. It's quite random at this point. So let's give it a press. Okay they're all moving together. Brilliant, so one button push. All four of the um, turnouts are moving as a scissors to either all turned or all straight. I don't know if you notice, it happens rather fast, but this board phases each one so that it's tick, 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 tick. So it's all done very quickly, but only ever fires one at a time. That way we can design the CDU or capacitive discharge unit right out of the equation, which is why I don't want you to use one with this board. Let's say you're having a bit, little bit of fun here. So let's disconnect one for a second, press the button and reconnect it. And you have the scenario where every time you press the button, three work properly, one is always the wrong way round. Now, of course, if this was a servo controller, I could reverse the servo, but why do something at the unit end when in fact the issue is that we simply have the multi-panel running out of phase? And if it was a relay, again I can't reverse it. So all I do is I look at my number, so that's one, two, three, four, five, number six, channel six is running the opposite way. Disconnect it, press the button once, reconnect it. Now you'll see all six work together. While we're here, and I said we were going to have some fun, I'm just going to induce one other error. On the switch, it doesn't matter which way round you fit the cable, but you must have the ground side matching. So here I've put the ground on the bottom. If I put the ground here the opposite way round, You've five seconds to work out what's going to happen. Three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens if I put this in the wrong way round. Effectively, 
it's like we've got the button permanently held down. And it's going to do that forever until you either work out what's happened or you ring me claiming the system's broken. <laughs> and of course the solution is to unplug the incorrect one, turn it the right way round, plug it in, problem solved. Now what would help you is if you have the LEDs installed, rather than run them all around, I'm going to plug this LED test panel in. It's one of the boards I use when testing each of these and you can see the state of the outputs. So this is the on position. So one and two are off, three, four, five and six are on. So every time I press it, you can see the lights flash and the complement come on. If I had a phasing error again, let's disconnect one, press the button. You can see three fire. Now I reconnect it. And essentially number four, uh, number six is always shooting in the wrong direction but now you know how simple this is to fix. I hope that was of some help to you. So before I wind this video up, there's one last thing I should do, and that's to fix this on my demonstration mimic panel. All I do, pop the lid off. Here is the button that's causing the issue. I'll disconnect one of the cables Press the button once, now the pattern is correct, and reattach the button. And there it is, working correctly. I hope this was of some help to you, so thanks very much for watching.